Hello and a very good afternoon to you. You're watching Breaking Ground on Times Now. I'm Pratibha. First up, let's begin with breaking updates coming in. The Supreme Court has made some strong observations in the hearing of the Article 370 petitions. The Chief Justice of India says the court will only examine if there is a violation of the Constitution and will not reassess the basis of the government's decision and won't examine whether or not this is in national interest. Now, a batch of petitions against Article 370, the abrogation of it being taken up by the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court has made some strong observations saying the court will only examine if there is a violation of the Constitution. My colleague Nilashi is joining us on the broadcast with the details. Nilashi, a batch of petitions reached the Supreme Court. Uh, but this is a very crucial observation of the top court saying if there is a violation of the Constitution, we're going to look at it, but will not examine whether this is in the national interest or not. Take us to what happened in court. Yes, absolutely. As the Constitution bench continues to hear... Uh, the batch of petitions with regard to the abrogation of Article 370, the CJI today has say, uh, said very clearly that the Supreme Court will only examine if there is a violation of constitution and will not reassess basis of government's decision. They will not examine if it was in national interest or not. In fact, the CGI has emphasized that judicial review would be confined to a constitutional violation and he went on to say that there is no doubt about that. The CJ, in fact, during the course of the hearing said, uh, while addressing Dushan Dave, one of the counsels appearing in this case, that you are uh, uh, inviting the court to review the wisdom of the decision of the government on the abrogation of Article 370. You are saying that judicial review should reassess the basis of the government's decision that was it uh, not in national interest to continue with Article 370. And upon that, it was stated very clearly by Chief Justice uh, D.Y. Chandrashur that... Uh, the uh, ambit of examination will be limited to the violation of the Constitution, not whether uh, there is national interest or the rationale behind that particular decision. Okay, all right. So the petitions had uh, spoken about uh, whether this is a national interest or not. But Nilashish, any more details of whether any of the petitions are speaking about uh, any violation of the Constitution that has been mentioned that the court spoke of? Uh, right at the very beginning, let's not forget, uh, when the hearing was about to commence, uh, first the modalities were set out and the Constitution bench had made it very clear that they would only be looking at, into the constitutionality of the decision and not the reasoning. That is something that has again been reiterated today by the bench. Now, as far as uh, uh, today's arguments are concerned, of course, uh, Senior Advocate Dushan Dave said that the President alone uh, can act on a resolution by the Constituent Assembly. This article has lived its life and achieved its purpose. Now, uh, we can see how the manner in which uh, the purpose and the reasoning behind the particular decision is being brought into court, to which uh, the CGI was very clear that uh, once the Constituent Assembly completed its task in 1957, there could not be any constitutional amendments at all. Thus, it's believed uh, by the constitutional practice itself. Uh, the constitutional amendments happened and went on happening till 2019. Uh, if Article 370 has served its purpose, continued the CGI, after the Constitutional Assembly comes to an end, why were constitutional orders made applicable post-1957? Okay. So these uh, aspects uh, were touched upon by the CGI, saying that the fact that 370 served its purpose it is belied by constituent, uh, consequent constitutional orders made applicable. Okay. All right. Uh, strong observation by the Chief Justice uh, on the petitions that have been filed as the hearing still continues on the same. Nilashish, thank you for joining us with those details.